my first thought was a uh, shock, um, disgust. I really didn't believe that uh, he was not guilty. You've now had five days to think and pray about it, both of you. Do, do, do you understand now how the jury might have reached that decision, and do you, do you accept it? Well, as, as uh, parents, the under, understanding how they reached the verdict, um, I'll never grasp that concept. Um, and just as loving parents uh, and God-fearing people, we just continue to pray that uh, whatever was in their heart um, was was what they intended to do, but we feel that the the verdict um, we didn't feel it was fair, um, and and of course it's devastating. I can only imagine. We've only we've now heard from one of the jurors, only one so far, who said that uh, Trayvon played a role in his death. She said that he could have walked away and gone home. What's your response to that? My response to that is that I think people forgetting that Trayvon was a teenager. So he probably thought as a teenager. Um, I really do believe he was afraid because he did call George Zimmerman creepy. So he was afraid. Is there something you wish those jurors knew that they didn't know? I wish they really knew Trayvon for who he was um, and knew that he was a kid. Um, they really didn't get the chance to uh, they didn't, they didn't know him as a human being. So I just wish that they had an opportunity to really know who Trayvon was and, and, and to they, uh, put that in content with what their decision was. What more do you expect from the justice system? Will you be filing a civil suit? Well, we're going to look at all legal possibilities, but right now we are asking the Department of Justice to look at this matter because Trayvon was simply walking home and his killer profiled him and followed him. So we need to know what is the law? Is it allowed that anybody can profile and follow you? Not even the police, based on the U.S. Supreme Court decision, can profile based on race. So are we going to allow private citizens with guns to do so? We need to know because we need to know what to tell our children. But as you know, the FBI investigations did not find much evidence that race was in play here. The prosecutor didn't believe that. Do you really think there's evidence for a case? Well, George, witness number nine has said that he had uh, racial issues. So there's evidence that may be very telling for a U.S. attorney to look at the civil rights of Trayvon Martin and if they were violated by his killer. And finally, uh, George Zimmerman's parents spoke to Barbara Walters. They want you to know that they're deeply sorry and they pray for Trayvon every day. Do you take any comfort in that? That's a, that's a hard question, um, but I think it's a fair question uh, because parents of, of um, there's no winner in this situation. Obviously, we are uh, devastated more, um, and I just think that all the circumstances surrounding uh, books being written um, and mischaracterization of us as parents, I, I just really don't feel that is is real sincere, but we continue to pray that, um, you know, that we'll find peace and strength to, to be forgiven parents.